Hey, it's Ryan Meeks with the Escape to Arizona YouTube channel. In this video, we're gonna get straight to it. We're gonna show you lake communities where you can have boats. And by boats, I mean actual pontoon boats, and in some instances, actual motor boats that take gas. The pontoon boats, most of the communities do take. Um, the boats will be electric powered, which means they'll be powered by batteries, which you'll have to recharge, just so you don't have all the uh, you know issues with gas and, and uh, exhaust fumes and things like that in some of these communities. But we're gonna take a look at these East Valley communities. And uh, you know the reason I'm doing this is I had a client come in, I think about two weekends ago, and she was looking for communities with, uh, you know, where she could boat, where she could live on the water, have that view of the lake, and then also if she wanted to take a spin out on the boat, and of course, uh, even do some fishing. So that's kind of what prompted this video, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Stick around, it's probably gonna be a long one. I'm, I did a lot of drone footage with this. I went out to each of these communities, got some drone footage for you guys, so I'm gonna have that rolling along with, uh, I'm gonna do a screen share from the, uh, MLS as well and that will basically give you guys the prices of these homes so that you know and, and you can see uh, the styles of the homes that are here what the backyards look like and uh, just give you a little bit more detail than just showing you these I, I kind of want to show you the properties as well so if you're looking to move you can kind of make an educated decision hopefully from this video or at least uh, get started with an educated decision so uh, and state of the end I'm gonna have my favorite community it's gonna be the last community of course so stick around for that. Um, although I don't know, I've been, I've, I've actually visited these communities again, and they're all there's some that are just really cool. Also, I'm gonna share some more places that if you don't, if you can't quite get into one of these homes, where you can actually do boating. In in the East Valley, I'm gonna show you all those areas as well. So let's get into it, let's do it. So I'm gonna share my screen with you guys and uh, I have some uh, saved listings here. So this is my actual MLS search page. So first what we're gonna look at is we're gonna look at all of the lake communities in Chandler. There's quite a few in Chandler where you can have boats. So let's take a look there. And first we're gonna hit up Ocotillo Lakes. So Ocotillo Lakes, um, if you look here, on the map is located in kind of Southwest Chandler. So Southwest Chandler, and you'll notice just to the south of Ocotillo Lakes is a community called Sun Lakes. Now this is a 55 plus community and it's got some lakes there as well, but I don't believe you can have any boats there. And um, Ocotillo Lakes is gonna be a little bit more family friendly. Sun Lakes was built in like the 70s and 80s. So it's really, uh, it's just, it's, got definitely an older crowd there but a lot of, it's a cool community for sure so if you're looking 55 plus might be a good place to look but right now we're sticking with the lake communities so just wanted to mention sun lakes is down there but as we zoom in here we can see uh we could see Ocotillo lakes and right here um is the golf course in the green and to the south is going to be um some really nice properties and then to the to the northwest of this community there's actually some condos over here so a lot of different types of homes here. Um, and then I believe there are some apartments as well, but the uh, apartments obviously aren't gonna have boat access. And then to the east, you'll see some more lake communities here, but this is Fulton Ranch and there's no boat access. So unfortunately, um, that kind of stinks. So let's take a look here. I got the, these little blue dots are the closed listings within the past, I believe, 90 days. So just to give you an idea of what something on the lake would cost, let's go ahead and take a look at this first listing here in Ocotillo Lakes. And so this one closed at 800,000 and I'm finding the prices, we, we looked at this community a few weekends ago and for something that was active, you're, you're looking at basically a million dollars to be on the lake here. So this is a, this was an $800,000 $800, home. Um, it's the villas at Ocotillo. So this is a little section with these uh, villa type of uh, homes. And I don't know, I don't really think they have lake access here, but um, beautiful home nonetheless, 3,100 square feet, three beds, three and a half baths. Uh, updated nicely. It's got some nice touches to it. Let me go back and let me actually show you, instead of going through the villas, I want to show you like an actual house that's on the lake. So bear with me one moment. I'm going to go, I like the South Lake a little bit, a little more familiar with the South area. So yeah, 1035000 on this one. It gives you a little bit of a better idea. Uh, four bed, three bath, 3,000 square foot home. And I like to say when it was built, so this was built in 2006. So you know, a little bit newer. So this is nice. 
beautiful home, nice courtyard, beautiful pool, infinity edge there. And the infinity edge is gonna kind of give you, you're gonna look off in the lake and you won't be able to tell kind of where the pool starts or where the pool ends and the lake starts. So it's kind of just a cool, cool effect. Uh, you see it at a lot of hotels that are sitting on lakes as well. And then here's your little access to the, to the lake. You can throw a pontoon boat there or kayaks, paddle board, whatever. Um, but uh, you can see that the, this home doesn't look like it comes with a pontoon boat or any type of uh, electric boat. So nice fireplace there in the courtyard. Some really nice touches to this home. So just to give you an idea there, Acatillo Lakes and a lot of nice shopping around here as well. Just to the south, you have a, uh, a, nice, uh, a nice strip mall. And um, it's, you know, I say strip mall, but it's, uh, it's a real classy place. I'll have some footage of that. You have the Snedeker Park, which is right here. Chandler Traditional Academy is right here as well. And uh, the sports complex actually has a skate park in it. It's got a recreation center and a lot of events that happen there. So a great, great family-friendly area. And um, to the west over here is actually, if you look at the satellite view, you're kind of wondering, hey, this is all this weird industrial area. So this is actually Intel. Intel's Acatillo campus is here. I believe they manufacture the semiconductors here. So... Uh, it's got a lot of uh, a lot of IT people are kind of migrating over here to this uh, particular community, and uh, a lot of a lot of jobs are being created here with uh, with Intel being so close. So really nice community, and it extends across this Alma School Road here, uh, just to the east. This is also Acatillo Lakes, so definitely a community you should check out at the top of my list in Chandler. Moving on here, we have Pine Lake Estates. So when you pull into Pine Lake Estates here, you'll notice it's got pine trees. So probably why they call it Pine Lake Estates. But definitely some beautiful homes here. Uh, a really just a good vibe. They got these bridges that kind of cross over the lake as well and just a nice place to take a walk. So it's not a huge neighborhood, but it is definitely a quaint, uh, quaint area. So let me try to find something that's on the lake. As you can see, we just have a few homes here that aren't quite on the lake that have closed in the past 90 days. So we're gonna stretch it out to 365 days, see if we can find something a little bit um, a little bit older that's that's uh, sold on the lake here. So here we go on Lynx Way, 965. So 965 here, a 4,000 square foot home. And I do recall seeing this one in the past actually. Uh, beautiful home here. So here's a lake view for you. And here's that bridge I was talking about. I went across that bridge the other day. I was taking some footage and it looks just totally cool. Um, they have a cute park there too. Volleyball court, basketball court, nice playground. Uh, plenty of space to uh, run around. And you can see the grass here is brown because this was probably taken uh, during the winter. They, they probably didn't have the winter grass going. So Pine Lake Estates, Great looking place. And here's the home. It's got a spa and as well as a pool. And um, you don't see really here any, um, you can see the, the pontoon boat in the background there, but you don't see a pontoon boat on, uh, on this home particularly. So, uh, but just a, a beautiful place, beautiful outdoor area. Not a super large yard with some of these waterfront properties. They're gonna have smaller backyards, uh, but you are paying a hefty premium to be on the water. I know some of the new builds in the 55 plus like Sun City Festival, they're going for like 180 to 220 thousand to be um, like on the water on the golf course. So it's just it's kind of nuts. That's not not Sun City. Sun City Festival is for the golf course rather. So you're you're paying these hefty premiums um, to to you know be be on these uh, certain areas, whether it's a golf course or waterfront. So just FYI. So you kind of see the interior here. Not super updated. Uh, it does, you know, have some nice finishes to it. Nice kind of Tuscan feel, but um, coffered ceiling there. That's always a good good look. And uh, stone fireplace as well. But it is, you know, slightly dated. And it looks like the year this one was built was let's see, 2003. So yeah, 90s and early 2000s were kind of a kind of a weird time for styles. I'll be honest with you. So Pine Lake Estates. Definitely a nice place to check out, and it's right here also in South Chandler, and I'm a huge fan of South Chandler. So, And now let's go look at, this is called Oakwood Lakes, Oakwood Lakes. So this is a um, nice little community. I mean, there's, there's like no community park in here or anything, but um, it's, you know, just a nice community that's on the lake. Uh, let's take a look here at this house and see what this sold for. So six fifty four. dollars on the water that closed in 2020. And so just recently for 900,000, this one closed. Let's take a look there. That's more of a realistic uh, 
real estate sale. That, that actually just sold yesterday because today's the 16th of October. So uh, marketing name, completely remodeled. So let's look at this house. 2,600 square feet, four beds, three baths. Um, it was listed at 890, so only sold for 10,000 more. Kind of surprised there, especially if it's completely remodeled. Oh, beautiful looking front. Uh, nice looking lawn there, <laughs> nice looking backyard. They uh, could have made that a little more straight, but I don't know what they were thinking there. Must not have had a drone at the time. But a nice looking pool, looks like it's been refinished. Yeah, interior looks like it's all redone, so completely remodeled. This might have been a flip. But yeah, beautiful. Look at all the windows there looking into the lake. That is just a beautiful home. Beautiful bathroom. Nice tile. Yeah, this is nice. So just give you an idea what you get for 900000 there. 2,600 square feet, four bed, three bath. And it was built in 98. So they, they updated that very nicely. And that's Oakwood Lakes. Oakwood Lakes. So coming up next, we're going to take a look at the Springs. And this is a super quaint little community. I love it. Absolutely love this place. And it's more in the hustle and bustle of Chandler. It's North Chandler. So um, you definitely get a different feel between North and South Chandler. So if you're visiting, um, and by North Chandler, I mean north of this 202, as you can see right here on my screen, north of the 202 and south of the 202, um, it's going to be, just feels a little bit newer. However, downtown is... Um, right here in the north side of Chandler. So this is just a couple of miles east of downtown. So uh, really close to downtown Chandler. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what has sold here recently on the lake. So here we have one, 400,000. And these are going to be smaller homes. I don't think you're going to be finding the, you know, um, 4,500 square foot homes here. So 1,400 square feet, three beds, two baths. Let's take a look at it. Built in 87. So 80s and 90s, I believe, are these homes. Nothing too super fancy, just your kind of typical starter home for 400000 but really nice and, and on the lake. So, geez, they need to get some furniture. They got that little folding table there. It looks like it's from Walmart holding up all their stuff. So, um, yeah, they definitely didn't put their shoes away either for this picture. Look at that. Didn't even do the bed. Goodness gracious. Oh, they, yeah, this is, I'm embarrassed to show this. Anyways, <laughs> so... You're going to get some people like that, though, that just don't care. And especially in this market, they're just throwing their house in however, you know, condition it's in. They don't care. But this is a beautiful community. I'm showing you guys some drone footage and stuff here. But absolutely uh, beautiful. You're going to find some beautiful homes here. And then you're going to find, in my opinion, some homes where people haven't taken care of them very well. And uh, you just have kind of a mixture in this community. I don't know the particular reason why, but... It's just a little bit of a, a mix here, but definitely it's got a real nice feel to it. A lot of pine trees here too. So it's got a little bit more of that Northern Arizona feel uh, rather than all the cacti and um, Palo Verde and mesquite trees. So it's got a little bit more of a Northern Arizona feel in kind of the city of Chandler. So that's it's a really, really nice feel. So here we have an updated house. So somebody, somebody actually cared about their home here. So 1600 square feet, 1700, three beds, two baths. Uh, beautiful home, nice pendant lighting they put in there. Looks like it might have been a flip. Um, but yeah, just a, a beautiful place here. Small, 1,700 square feet isn't, isn't very big for uh, standards, you know, standards here. Uh, they have a, 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 I think these are called a paddle boat. Yeah, paddle boat, not a paddle board. And, uh, but you could have an electric boat here too. Just can't have a, uh, you know, one of those motor boats that take gas. So. Um, they also have a swim and racket club, which is pretty cool. And uh, I'd imagine there's some activities that happen here. And uh, you'll see a lot of like little small streams throughout this community. And it looks just really, uh, the, the water looks nice. It's a, it's a nice feel to it. And like I said, some smaller homes here, some more starter homes here. And uh, you're not going to be paying, you know, a million dollars because they're smaller. And uh, the area is, uh, in my opinion, you know, just a little less desirable than South Chandler, but nonetheless, a great place to live. And I mean, I, I was actually just here yesterday, it feels doing video and it just feels super homey. It feels really quaint. It feels, uh, it feels like some place that you could call home. Definitely. So nice, nice area. And that's the Springs and that's in Chandler. And then I was going to talk about another place you probably saw on here called Pecos Ranch, but you know, you can only have paddle boats here from what I've seen. I haven't seen any pontoon boats. 
and that's just south of the 202. So I'm just going to give that one kind of an honorable mention and move on because we got a lot of other communities to hit here. I don't want to spend too much time on that. So Pecos Ranch Community Pool, Spa, Tennis Courts, Parks, Horseshoe, Bocce Ball Courts, and I believe small paddle boats here. So just an FYI for you, okay? And let's go to, uh, let's go to our next uh, city. So that's about it for Chandler. And let's go to um, <clears throat> Tempe, Mesa, and Ahwatukee, okay? So in Tempe, or no, let's start, let's start with Mesa. So in, in Mesa, we have uh, Dobson Ranch. And Dobson Ranch, it's definitely an older community, but it also has kind of that quaint feel to it. It's got like a really, you know, I, I had somebody from California, and they, they kind of said it was like their house in L.A. growing up. Like it just had that kind of like, um, just that, I keep saying quaint, but just that neighborhood feel to it that, that just feels real good. Like you'd get along with everybody and uh, it, it is a, a good feeling neighborhood. So Dobson Ranch, let's go ahead and take a look at uh, some of the homes that are here on the water. And I mean, just look at it. It's, it's, it's got a really nice park next to it too. Beautiful, beautiful park. A lot of people out running, a lot of people, you know, with their kids. Uh, saw a mom and her newborn baby, saw a guy out walking his dog, saw some kids playing soccer, you know, organized. So definitely a really, really cool area. So let me bring this up here. Mesa Tempe, Awatuki. So let's go into our uh, map view. And we're going to go to Dobson Ranch. So it's over here. And, and basically, if you're looking at a map where we were before, Chandler's south here. And then Temp uh, Tempe, Mesa is obviously a little bit further north. Awatuki, excuse me, is going to be a little bit further west, and I'll get into Awatuki in a minute. But Dobson Ranch, let's zoom in here, see if we can find any uh, lakefront property. And uh, I don't think this is going to be nice to me right now, so we may have to go back a little bit further. Let's go ahead and do that. Edit our search. Let's throw it back about uh, 365 days. Go back to our map view. Zoom in. Play by play. All right. Oh, this is, um, yeah, let's check out this house. Yeah, some of these houses are like super cool. Some of them are a little, you know, kind of eh. And then uh, it just, just kind of depends. So this home built in 79, 563 is where it closed. And that closed, um, looks like on the, somewhere around the 8th of February, 2021. Let's take a look at some of the photos here. 2,700 square feet. Oh, it's got four photos. Great. Didn't help us at all. All right. Uh, I may have to cut that out of the video. That is embarrassing. Let's check out this one. 775. So 775. This one is 675. So a little more expensive. So maybe that house just didn't have anything going for it on the inside. Didn't want to post any pictures. Sometimes that's how it goes, right? So this one, look at this. Cute house. Really cute house. Got some curb appeal here. A little bit older looking, but I mean, beautiful home. Look at that. Palm trees in the background. What more could you ask for? Nice green grass. Yeah, this is great. And it looks like real grass. So here's the backyard. Beautiful pool. Uh, looks like a pond tune boat is covered right now. But you got some stairs going down to the uh, to the dock. So that's nice. And uh, there's a view from the backyard. I mean, can't beat that. A view down from what looks to be a second second story patio. Yeah, look at that. You got multiple patios on the backyard. And that's what I loved about these homes too. And, and I'll show this to you in some of the drone footage I have. But just some stunning, uh, you know, like the, the back of the house looked better than the front of the house in a lot of these. So it's just, it's really cool architectural design on, on some of these homes. So, um, and stunning backyard. I mean, very cool. I don't know how old this looks, but it looks like it aged very well. And I mean, how cool is that? You have the stairs to go down to, to like a separate, kind of chill party area. Look at that dead palm tree right there. That's a dead, uh, what do they call those? Um, I forget, queen palms, yeah, that thing is not looking good. So look at the back of that, I mean, how cool. And, and this is huge too, I mean, I didn't even get to the 4,345 4, square feet, so five bed, four bath. So thinking you could probably get something a little bit smaller uh, for a little, little less maybe on, on the lake. But that's pretty cool, pretty cool house. Interesting interior. Interesting tile. Look at that. Yeah. That looks like once it was a fireplace, now it's some kind of uh, candle holder. Cool. So that's that. That's in Dobson Ranch. Uh, very cool community. 
I'm showing you some of the uh, B-roll I have here, driving through and everything. And uh, they do have something coming up. Actually, it was yesterday, or is it today? I think it was yesterday. They had a Halloween um, event there. So they do have events here. And uh, also to note in Dobson Ranch, there's a place where they have boat slips. And I don't know if you can rent these boats or if you put your boats there, but it's right by the uh, area where they have um, the pool and the pickleball courts. And it just, like, just hanging out there felt really cool. It felt really nice. Uh, once again, very quaint. Going to use that a few times. Uh, but definitely a nice neighborhood. When you go outside of the neighborhood, you'll notice it's a little more city-like than, say, South Chandler, which is just has a little more rural, a little, little newer feel to it. So something to keep in mind with Dobson Ranch, all right? Let's go to Awatuki. Let's go check that out. Awatuki. So Awatuki, I do have a video on it in case you're not familiar with it. It's in Phoenix, South Phoenix. It's, uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful community. And it's kind of like a triangle shape here just south of South Mountain. So if we were to go kind of make a triangle right there. And the only lake community is, uh, that you could have boats on is uh, Lakewood in Awatuki. So um, you'll see it kind of has this uh, green belt that passes through the middle of it. And then uh, some condos over here in the northeast corner. And then, you know, just a mixture of homes. So it's, uh, it's a variety of people here. So let's look at this home on a cul-de-sac that oh, closed at $700,000. Let's take a look at that. And uh, 22, 2,300 square feet. Looks like it's a two-story built in 88. And let's look at some of the pictures of this house. And Mary Jo, I've actually worked with her before. So, yeah, beautiful home here. As long as these homes are taken care of, I mean, you can always add updates to them. But if you don't take care of the home, you'll see a lot of these step-downs here from different levels in the 80s and 90s, which I'm not a big fan of. None of my clients have been. But definitely a, a beautiful home. Kitchen looks a little aged, but, you know, you're going to get that. And that's the thing with Awatuki. Uh, I just had clients that moved there. Ben and Laura, I think I mentioned them in some other videos, in my Awatuki video probably. And, you know, they had to basically not gut the house, but just add a lot of updates to it just to bring it up to today, today's standards for sure. So, um, but yeah, let's take a look at the backyard, see if we can see that view. And uh, wow, lake view from the patio. Look at that. So that is beautiful. That is that, yeah, it's like a million dollar view right there. I mean, come on. Beautiful. So this is Lakewood and Awatuki. And Awatuki pretty much has everything you need. You don't really have to leave. It's, it's a great place. Um, yeah, definitely a, definitely a nice area. So, And uh, easy access to the 10 and then the 202 on the south side to get to the West Valley. But yeah, look at that beautiful lake there. Beautiful. All right, so let's go into one of my favorite communities, and that is the Lakes in Tempe. Super excited to show you guys this one. This one, this is one of my favorites. It's older, but it's got a ton of character. So let's go up to it. And some of these houses here that have been redone are just like one of the nicest homes I've seen. It was insane. So let's take a look. And it was right on this cul-de-sac right here. It was over, I think, 5502 is the address. Look that one up. But here we go, Six, 652, not a bad price for, for that block right there. That's kind of crazy. I wonder how the house looks inside. Oh, it's remodeled waterfront home on the lakes. Four bed, two and a half bath, 2,600 square feet. So look at that. I mean, just a lot of character to it. I mean, it doesn't look new or anything, but it just just has a ton of character. I mean, I wouldn't say this is remodeled. I, yeah, you know, added a few things. And they did the kitchen. So you do have the lower ceilings. Those are probably eight-foot ceilings. Which are, And when you put a ceiling fan in eight-foot ceilings, it's like, whoa, you cut off my head. Beautiful view of the lake there. I mean, it's kind of obstructed there with the trees, but hopefully there's a better angle somewhere. Yeah, here we go. A little bit of a better one. You have some, looks like gnomes down there, those little gnome guys. And a lion. That's interesting. So, yeah, look at these houses. So, like, across the way here, very, very unique. 
And I got a ton of drone footage and I'm going to show you guys this as we go along. But yeah, like a little garden down there. There's the lakes. Oh, I'm just going to go through this since it's here. The Lakes Beach and Tennis Club. Very cool spot. So there's your pool. There's your tennis court. And uh, there's looking out the docks from the, that's from the, uh, the tennis club there. So that's from that HOA location there. Uh, so you can take your boat there if you wanted to. And, and actually, if you look at the map here, what's kind of cool, and I'll show this to you as well with my drone, but this lake runs up along here and it actually goes underneath. So you can go under this Lakeshore Drive here and uh, get around to the other parts of the lake. So it's all accessible. And this is one of the few lakes that, that actually has that. So it's pretty cool how you can access the entire lake. So definitely a, a beautiful place. Um, and there's like shopping within here. There's a restaurant. Um, there's like a, a, there's a restaurant with like seating in the back where you can sit on the lake. So that's pretty cool as well. So this one went for a million dollars. Let's check this one out. Oh, this is that unique house. This one's really interesting. It's got like, it's like a log cabin and they didn't have many pictures here, but <laughs> look at this pontoon boat there, Koi Pond. That's like an island you can go and do some fishing off of. But yeah, this is like um, part of the house, I guess. This is crazy. So windows here going out to the patio. Yeah, very, very unique home for sure. I don't know if, how much that would cost to update, but definitely, definitely a cool property. So there's just a lot of different properties kind of like this um, in this particular location. And uh, I'll show you this one house as I drive through the location I was just in love with that had to be recently done. Looks like an athlete would own it or something. It was just such a cool, cool looking home on the, on the lake. So anyways, the lakes in Tempe, a cool place to uh, hang your hat for sure. So those are the three areas, um, Mesa, Ahwatukee and Tempe where you can have boats and the only three that I know of. So let's go to our next, um, our next area, we're going to go into our save searches. And from here, we're going to go into, where did I want to go next? Let's see. Oh, Gilbert. So Gilbert and Queen Creek. There are some areas in Queen Creek. There's one area, actually. So let's click on it. And um, yeah, we're going to go through this. And I'll give some honorable mentions to some places, because um, I'm not quite sure if you can have one here. But... Um, let's look at our map. And so the first place is going to be what's called Windrift. And uh, just like it's said, it's spelled W-I-N-D-R-I-F-T. And if you look at the satellite view of this, I've been in this neighborhood a few times, and I can't tell if these are like, I guess they're pontoon boats. I mean, that's a pontoon boat there. I don't know. Yeah, there is a there is a slip there. So you can have boats here. This is called Windrift. I've had a client look in this neighborhood. He did not like the neighborhood. So take that for what um, for what you may. But that was Windrift, and prices here aren't going to be that expensive. Here, let me see if I can find something for you guys. Uh, in the meantime, let's look at Stonebridge. Stonebridge is just paddle boats. You can't have an actual boat here. But let me show you. This one's on the lake. Four fifty. And these homes, really close to downtown Gilbert, and like the community that's near downtown Chandler I was just talking about, it's going to um, it's going to be hit or miss with the homes and the neighborhoods and the neighbors. You know, it's just a mixture of people. So uh, a little bit more diverse. And uh, yeah, it's just, uh, yeah, you know what? There is a pontoon boat there. So hey, get your pontoon on. Boom. Confirmed. So you could have a little uh, electric boat there. So can't really go that far, but looks like you can have a boat there. I'm glad I saw this picture. But anyways, this is what 450 will get you. This one looks like it closed on um, doo -doo 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 -doo, the 15th of October this year. So just yesterday. Look at that. Woohoo! I'm like two for two on the uh, yesterday closings. So that is Stonebridge. Let's go back to Windrift because I promised you I would check that out and I kind of skipped over it. So let's go back to it. Back to Windrift. See if we can find something here that's closed on the, uh, on the lake there. Let's go to Edit Search. Let's bring this back to 400 days, see what we can find. Come on. Loading. 
Oh, here we go. There's one on the lake right here. Let's see what this bad boy sold for. Looks like it's got a pool. 610. So it's probably the cream of the crop going for 610. 1,900 square feet, listed at 575, four bed, three baths. So somebody wanted this. And we're going to have some crappy realtor pictures. But look at the kitchen. Small kitchen. Not a lot of, I mean, 1,900 square feet. Like I said, not that big. But hey, nice, nicely done, though. Updated. From what I can see, epoxy floor. You really wanted to get a picture of the ground in the backyard. And that's about it. So that's about all they're going to show you. No, no views or anything. But um, yeah, I had a client that looked here and just didn't like the neighborhood. So anyways, those are two neighborhoods there. And let's go into our first neighborhood where you can actually have a like a jet ski, like a motorboat. So that's going to be Playa del Rey. Now I have a whole video on the neighborhood if you want to check it out. Um, but I'll throw some drone footage and stuff in here anyways. So this is actually a uh, you know pretty long lake and it was originally just open for you know boaters to come in and, and go on the lake and then someone bought the property and uh, you know started building these houses and the original uh, boathouse is right here and that's where they used to let people come in and hang out and, and now it's a community. So anyways, that's the uh, brief um, abridged history. Of, of this community. So let's look at this particular property that's sold for 985. So yeah, you're gonna be looking at like 950 to maybe like 1.2 to be on the lake here, especially if there's uh, an updated home. So, and you'll notice here, these, uh, these homes all have these huge kind of front, um, I don't even know what you'd call this thing, but you know, entryways that are just mammoth. And this is actually one of the smaller ones, believe it or not, there are some larger ones. So water skiing, paddle boards, jet skis, kayaks allowed. So, yep, very beautiful home, I'm sure. And this, it's kind of funny because they're all the same floor plan where they have the stairs on the right, right when you walk in. And, um, yeah, so it's, I mean, it's like the same, same floor plan. It's weird. Anyways, it's kind of a dated floor plan in my opinion, but uh, some people like it. So, and it's obviously selling for a lot of money. So beautiful, beautiful area here. Um, it's in Northwest Gilbert, so Northwest is going to be a little bit older, in my opinion. Older strip malls, kind of not not really my style, but uh, you know, the taller the palm trees are, let's put it that way, the older the neighborhood, huh? So, and you can see they actually have the docks here for their jet skis and um, kind of the covered covered parking here right off the lake. So that's pretty cool. So you don't have to go far um, to get your jet ski. So very beautiful, and there's somebody riding <laughs> riding a, a wakeboard. And that's pretty much what this uh, what this community is for, for you to enjoy your boat and uh, do some jet skiing, water skiing, whatever it is you do on boats. So Playa del Rey, there's also, take note, a um, miniature golf course in the front that actually needs a little work. I feel like the HOA should probably fix that at some point, but that that's pretty cool. And then there's actually um, another little lake right next to it, and I'll show you here. But that needs, or you can have paddle boats on this one, but you can't have regular boats. So that's the one right next to it so um yeah playa del rey now let's cruise over to another ski lake which is just directly to the southeast and that is going to be um, crystal point so we got ski court north shore lane here so these are the there's not that many homes i mean i think there's like 15 homes here um but they're super expensive so like 1.9 and then this one is uh 1.6 so let's look at the 1.6 and they're going to be pretty big mansions and so 5,100 square feet, three beds, six baths, because we all need two, two bathrooms per bedroom. They just have a lot of guests that come and hang out in the, in the living room. Uh, so you can see there, there's, there's their boat slip, and uh, you can see that's a little ramp there for water skiing. So, and then I got some B-roll and drone footage I'll also show you guys. But unique homes here, custom built, so they're going to have... You're either gonna love it or hate it. You gotta find the right buyer for each one of these homes. And you can see this one's definitely um, interesting, very interesting on, on the inside. So built in 2005. So that is uh, Crystal Point, a very, very beautiful community and uh, beautiful homes. They might have some lots left in there, I don't even know. But if you're interested, give me a holler. Gated community as well. <clears throat> so headed to the south. So this next community is the Islands, and the Islands is uh, a community that a lot of people know about when they're thinking of moving to Gilbert. Uh, it's 
kind of got some kind of allure where people are like, oh, I want to live in the islands just because it's a huge lake community and there's a ton of lakefront property here. Uh, and it's like these, you'll see these tributaries kind of go through like little arms and just create just a ton of lakefront property. So it, it depends what your budget is, but you can find something pretty much in any price range on the water from I think about 450 on up to over a million dollars. So this particular house, we just I just randomly clicked on. $935,000 it closed for, so let's check it out. Um, looks like a three-car garage here. Nice driveway. Some nice uh, curb appeal. 5,700 square foot, five bed, four baths. So it's going to be one of the larger homes here on, on the water. You can see it's got a pool. Pool looks like it might need to be updated a little bit. And uh, let's see the, the backyard here. Looks like they don't have access to the waters. Now, it's kind of weird, too, because some of these communities, you got to make sure that you have that access and, and very dated on the inside. Wow, I mean, if they updated this and put some money into it, they probably could have got it back. But, um, yeah, I don't know what that thing is. What is up with that? I don't know. Oh, it's in the garage. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Some kind of conveyor belt system. Anyways, yeah, just super, super dated. And that's what you're going to get with the islands because most of the homes here were built in the 80s. So it's really um, just a kind of dated community. So you're, it's going to be hit or miss on these homes. And if the homes are updated, you're going to be paying for it. That's for sure. But this park is really cool. There's a, there's a park um, community center, a lot of HOA events here. So definitely a family-friendly community. And uh, there's townhomes here. I believe there's uh, there might be like some condos as well. Um, large homes, large two-story homes like we just saw on the lake, as well as uh, single stories on the lake. So it just depends on what you want and what your budget is, but you can definitely find it in the islands. And there are two different, if you look at the map, there's two different lakes here. So there's the one up north here, and then this does not go under. You'll see that, you know, there's no, um, there's no underpass here or anything. So there's one up there, and then you have the one on the south. And then if you look at, let's see, like, like this one here on the south side... And these are actually, I think those might be apartments right there. I take that back, not apartments. Okay. So this one went for 835 and uh, 3,200 square feet, but there are apartments here. That's why I said that. So it uh, looks like a Blandford home, uh, although they called it a Bladford. And uh, built in 92, 835, and it looks like it's a, it's actually a two story as well. That I'd that'll be able to find a single story. It looks like a single story from the front. But look at that view with the pontoon in the back. I mean, that's a that's a beautiful view. And it's kind of cool to see your neighbors and see all the other boats and the cool backyards. Because like I said, with the uh, particular community called the Lakes in Tempe, it's just like really cool to see the backs of people's homes. Like there's just so much architecture and um, just, just designs are even, you know, more smooth than the front of the house. So looks really cool. So let's get to the outdoor area. <clears throat> been a long video guys thanks for sticking around we got some more to show you but yeah here's the yard looks like it's a pretty big yard actually for yeah so there's the pool with kind of the infinity edge going over it looks like it was raining that day when they took the pictures but uh yeah outdoor grill and stuff so pretty cool you know and then here's your, your dock here to the pontoon boat and then you can see some of the other homes have all the the boats there as well a little bit of grass so yeah and there's those uh you know those sunsets that you uh you pay for i guess beautiful twilight photos though all right so let's go on to the next community that was the islands the next uh and probably most popular in gilbert is called val vista lakes and that is going to be just to the north east and val vista lakes has like some three million dollar homes here um, like this one probably sold for a boatload. Oh, this one, 1.9. Let's take a look at it. So this is, let me explain it first. This is Westlake over here. And there's no access from Westlake to the other lake. However, I think you can get in underneath. See this lake? Like, I think you can go under here. So, and there's, instead of Lake Shore, it's Lake Side Drive. But um, this one goes down through to here. And then the regatta lake doesn't, that one just kind of stays there. So, and you can see these are all kind of have a common theme where it's jutting out. So that way they can make more homes with uh, waterfront property. So that's how these lakes work. They're not just like a round lake. 
But anyways, let's take a look here. Look at this, it has a tennis court right here. Is this just, oh, that might be for the community actually. I don't get in there much, I'll be honest with you. They don't let me in. I try to knock at the gate and they just tell me to leave. Okay, 1.9, let's see what we got going on. 5,700 square feet, six beds, six and a half baths. So, yeah, it's a lot of people. Beautiful home though, look at that. I mean, it's awesome. And this, oh yeah, this is updated. Look at this, how cool, what a cool house. Yep, beautiful. So anyways, very beautiful house. Let's get to the yard, because that's kind of what we're, we're talking about here. Not a bad price, 1.9 for this. I'm surprised it didn't go for more, to be honest. Look at that pool, looking out to the, the lake there, Infinity Edge. Infinity Edge, nice little gazebo in the back with probably a little kitchen in there. Yeah, this is great. So, super cool, beautiful property. Cars, I don't think, came with it. But there's a pontoon boat there you can kind of see, and there's some uh, probably workers lined up there to, to do work on the other homes. But yeah, the home next to it, I think, went for like 3.4 or something like that. But I don't, I, I thought it was on the market, but I don't see it closing, so who knows. Anyways, so that's Val Vista Lakes. I'm gonna go back to the other section of it and show you some, some more affordable lakefront property here. Bear with me one moment. There's me. Hi. I'm just making sure that the uh, video's not ending because you can only record so much. So over here, this is kind of, this is called Lakeside, the south area. 1.4, this one sold for. Let me see this. I'm just curious. Yeah, beautiful home. Okay, 1.4. Let me try to find something more affordable. So this is on, this is Cascade. So 950, that one went for. And here's, these are townhomes actually right here. 540 that one went for and that was these townhomes are super weird um, But some people like him. I mean, I'm not telling you not to get a townhouse. They're just very small and boxy Here's the uh, they have a cool clubhouse here very family friendly But there's also if you're older and you want to live here There's like a section like the gated communities are just a little bit older. It's just how it is um, and there's a ton of HOA events for older and younger people here. So for the, uh, for the parents, for the kids, um, you know, the parents want to get away from the kids. They have those type of events and then they have events for like just people without kids or whose kids have moved on to wherever it is that they're, uh, you know, kind of empty nesters. So a lot of different homes here. And then uh, here, this one's in regatta. So this one went for 780. So you could probably find something for like seven, eight hundred thousand on the on the lake here. Uh, you just gotta you know keep your eyes open and and keep your eye on the market, I guess. But that's Val Vista Lakes for you. Uh, really, really nice community. Probably the most popular lake community in Gilbert. All right. And finally, we're gonna we're gonna head down south. We can turn our map view on. It's a little easier to read. All right, and we're gonna go down to Santan Lakeside Estates. So this particular community is just north of the Santan Mountain, which is right over here, Santan Mountain Regional Park, and obviously the Santan Mountain. So let's take a look at this. I'm already on the map view. I don't know why I just clicked that again, but I did. Come on. Now I gotta go back south. Okay, just kick me back north. All right, so there we are. Now let's look at the satellite view. Brian Erlacher sold his house. And I have a video on that for some reason. That's right here for 2.5 and wasn't even on the lake. So, um, but it was a beautiful, beautiful home. He probably couldn't get any neighbors to move in next to him, so he sold his house. So I don't know if it was like a vacation home or what, but this is another area where you can have a speedboat and you know you can do skiing and jet skiing and all that fun stuff. So you can definitely have a gas-powered boat here. So here's one that went for 2.8 million. There's some empty lots here, I believe, but they're gonna be owned by individuals. So uh, you could definitely build a custom home here if you wanted to. This one is built in 2014, so it's kind of newer. Let's take a look at, uh, I'm just gonna go through the, uh, the yard pictures, because I know we'll all get depressed if we actually look at the house pictures, right? I know, I, yeah, I'm already depressed. Come on, really, really? All right, so we're looking through, and here we have a basketball court, very nice, and you can't really see the lake from here, but you kind of get an idea of what we're looking at. Um, and they actually looks like, I don't know if that's turf or grass, but 
very nice touch. So not gonna get too many pictures here. The, uh, the agent here just, oh, here we go. So this one's probably the best you're gonna get. And you can see they have these little kind of cottages that sit out here with the boats for the boats uh, as the boat slip. And uh, those will, you know, keep it the sun from beating down and damaging the boats and also look pretty cool just sitting in the back of your house. So very, very cool. It says two, 236 feet of lakefront um, beach here, 13 acre lake. So one of the nicer lakes for sure uh, down here in, and it's actually, it's, it says Gilbert, but I believe it's Queen Creek. And uh, we could debate that all day, but uh, it doesn't really matter. So those are the lake communities there. Now let's go into um, our final community and one of my favorites, my favorite, I guess. And that is going to be Scottsdale Ranch. So let's bring that up. And thanks again for sticking around, guys. If you're still here, you rock. Let me find my Scottsdale Ranch one. I can't even read right now. Do I have it? Where'd it go? Huh. All right, I probably don't have it because it's like one community. So let me just do a custom search for it. And I'm gonna go closed. I'm gonna go 360 days back. Ooh, I'm not gonna lie, my eyes are hurting right now. If you feel like you need to take a break and just look at a wall that's 20 feet away, feel free to do so. And uh, another way, if you, and I'm telling you this at the end of the video here, but you know, you can obviously see there's like lakes here. Go to satellite view, zoom in on them. You know, if you're wherever you're looking to move, and just look and see if you see boats on the lake, right? I mean, that's one way to. And you can see these little boats. They look like little matchbox cars, actually. Like, is that a paddle boat? What is that? Um, so, anyways. Scottsdale Ranch, a very, very cool community. And you'll see to the south here, they have a tennis, um, kind of like a tennis club. They have a senior center over here. I don't know why I like things that are, you know, related to um, later in life, but just love those type of places. So some super beautiful homes here. Let's take a look at one of them that has sold here in the last 365 days, 360 days. This one went for 1.2. And you're going to be paying higher prices here because you're in Scottsdale now. So you're just paying to be in Scottsdale. And uh, it's not North Scottsdale, it's not South Scottsdale. It's kind of like the, uh, it's called the Shea Corridor is where we're at. So I have a Living in Scottsdale video you can watch as well. Kind of breaks down the areas. But uh, yeah, so 1988 build, so a little bit older homes here. Um, and uh, 1.2, three beds, three and a half baths, 3,500 square feet. And over, I mean, look at, look at this. Is this, is it a attached home or is it, I'm confused now. Let me see here, what did I pick? Looks like it is a townhouse, so $1.2 million townhouse. It's crazy, but look at that. How cool is that in the back? Got some great architectural features here. Uh, I call these little turrets right here, and that's going to be all glass there for you to sit out in the back and just look onto the lake. So definitely uh, just a beautiful view. And uh, I'm going to shoot some drone footage. Got some footage of me going through the neighborhood as well, but a quaint little townhome here at 3,500 square feet, right? How crazy is that? Look at this kitchen here. Very unique fireplace right there in the kitchen as well. In case you're cooking and you get a little chilly on those winter nights. And then here's opening up from your master out into the back here. Just a beautiful, and then a view of the McDowell Mountains as well. So really nice, really nice home. A little bit dated, but you know, in the 80s it was, uh, it was built. And you know, a lot of older clients don't really care about that. They're, they're fine with it, so. Um, but yeah, you can kind of see how it, the the lake connects here and um, what's going on with it. But just a beautiful place. You have the park right to the south. You have a lot of tennis courts, pickleball courts, and um, everything's nearby. And you're not far from downtown Scottsdale either. I mean, if you want to go party it up in downtown Scottsdale, um, you pretty much just, here, let me take this off that map. And you're pretty much just going to go to the south and boom, right here, hit up Old Town. So not super close, but not that far either. I mean, you could live up in North Scottsdale all the way up here and have to go all the way down to get to uh, downtown Scottsdale. So Scottsdale Ranch, super cool community. Let's take a look at um, maybe one more property here that's, that's sold that's not a townhouse. So let's take a look. So $1 million here, um, <clears throat> 1.4 there, 1.395. And 1.3 there. So, yeah, a lot to choose from here in terms of waterfront communities that allow uh, boats. Now, 
what I want to tell you is, let's say you want to move here and you're like, oh, geez, I, I love these areas, but I don't, or I, I, I'd love to live there. I love boats, but I don't like any of these areas or I can't afford these areas. Well, you have a few different options. So there's a place called Firebird Lake. And I'm going to show you that here on this map. So that's 400 bucks a month, which is pretty pricey. And um, that is all the way over, where the heck is it? It's down here, um, right off the I-10. So this lake is huge. And you can do whatever you want on this lake in terms of uh, you know, jet skiing, water skiing, wakeboarding. Um, you know, just lay there on a tube and have somebody pull you. 400 bucks a month or $2,400 a year is what I hear it is in terms of the price. So that is one option, Firebird Lake. And another option, you know, we're not far from Saguaro Lake, which is this little guy right here. So Saguaro Lake, you can just go ahead and put your boat in there. It's 80 bucks a year for the pass. And you get the U.S., you get the, um, what is it called? Uh, USA Pass. I forget the name of it, but we have one. And uh, it's 80 bucks a year, then $4 per, you know, if you have your, put your boat in, it's 4 bucks. So it's not a big deal. So Saguaro Lake, beautiful, beautiful. Check out this footage. Then you have Canyon Lake you can go to as well, which is a little bit of a longer drive. You have Apache Lake, and then you have Roosevelt Lake, which is the big boy that's letting in, you know, all the water over here. So this one, I would recommend going through Globe from the south, going through Miami and through Globe here to get in just because it's... Uh, it's a little bit of a crazy drive. To, you can see the street right here just runs uh, next to the Salt River. And like you're literally like almost going to fall into the river. Look at the satellite view, how crazy it is. So some people might be scared of that, but, you know, it, I think it'd be a cool, cool little drive. So probably just don't take that way back so you're not on the right side. So take it there and then go through a globe when you come back. But yeah, Roosevelt, Roosevelt Lake is really nice to go to. Um, we also have closer to Scottsdale. Let me go over here. We have right up here in the right, we have Bartlett Lake. Go back to the map view. So you could go here as well and you can kind of see how you get there. <laughs> All right. So that's another option. And then we have uh, Lake Pleasant, which is over here, which is just a huge lake just north of Peoria. And that's an option, uh, I say, for most of the West Siders, if they want to go do anything on the lake, they can go there. So, um, But a ton of options here for waterfront communities. And uh, I'll have a link down low which has pr uh, just waterfront boat properties if you guys want to just do a quick search. And, uh, you know, I'm a realtor here, so if you do need any help, feel free to reach out. I've thrown my information here a few times throughout the video. So love to help you guys out. And if you have any questions, I'm going to get a glass of water. <laughs> Please reach out and uh, look forward to seeing you guys on the next video. Thank you.